Arthur Evne la mia vita. I love that here, the little Italy in the Bronx, everyone is speaking Italian everywhere. I have this opportunity to actually practice my super rusty Italian. Ciao, sono Jen, la tua guida locale di Nueva York. E benvenuta nella piccola Italia della Bronx. This is the real little Italy. A lot of people think the real little Italy is actually in Manhattan, down next to Chinatown, and that is totally wrong. The real little Italy is here in the Bronx, in the Bronx. and I've got Diego Dandy in the Bronx to come hang out with me. We're here in the Bronx, real little Italy. We're gonna have some mozzarella, oh, and uh, so we're gonna eat all day. <laughs> I've had this mozzarella before, and I like didn't even eat breakfast. I'm just like so ready. I gotta start my day with mozzarella, and we're just gonna keep eating until we're so full it hurts, and then we're gonna continue eating, and then we're gonna eat more. And then we're gonna go home. <laughs> I'm so excited. I told you to be hungry. You're hungry, right? Yes, I haven't okay. eaten um, for a couple of hours. Good. Since okay. yesterday, so I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're gonna eat some of the best Italian food, not just in New York City. Honestly, like it's pretty close out. Like outside of Italy, it's hard to get really good mozzarella, and this spot knows what they're doing. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. That's good. Okay, great. Good transition. Here at Casa de la Mozzarella, they are so sweet. He's like, you only want one little piece of mozzarella? Ugh, please. He gave it to me for free. He gave me two. He's so nice. He's very nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I already know that this mozzarella is so good. I've had it before, but I can't wait. Oh my god. Should we do it? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. The saltiness? Mm, yeah. Mm. Little hints of salt there that really gives it a little kick. Like wow, it. when it pulls apart, oh my goodness. Mm. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Heaven. It's so good. Mm. Mm 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 mm. Yes, this is the winner. Mm -hmm. Come to Casa de la Mozzarella. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, one thing I really like about Little Italy here in the Bronx is that there's not really any tourist traps. Um, because they're not trying to trick you to get into these places. They're all legit places, so I appreciate that. Arthur Avenue in the Bronx around 187th Street, Belmont, is known as the real Little Italy and has more 100-year-old family businesses than any other area of New York City. If you are looking for a specific Italian brand or a dish like your grandmother's, this is where people flock. Actually, 85% of its customers travel over five miles just to dine here. There's even a movie and new musical, A Bronx Tale, that is all about an Italian boy growing up in this area. How do you get there? You can take the D subway line from Midtown, which is about an hour, or the fastest way is to take a slightly more expensive Metro North Harlem line to Fordham Station, which is about 20 minutes from Grand Central. When to go? If you are visiting the Bronx Zoo, Fordham, or the New York Botanical Garden, this is where you make dinner reservations. Or go early and spend the entire day eating and shopping so you have time to wander around the market and stores before they close early. If you are going at a popular time like a weekend night, you will need a reservation for most places, like the historic Mario's where they filmed a soprano scene. So call ahead. Fun fact, because I love fun facts, Arthur Avenue is actually named after the 21st president. For the best burrata, you must go to Mike's Deli, which is found in the Arthur Avenue market. What is burrata? It is a shell of fresh mozzarella surrounding a soft, creamy stracciatella cheese. It is the best. Arthur Avenue actually began as a pushcart market and this retail market was the first enclosed market in the Bronx. Walk past the Bronx Beer Hall, a fun spot later on, and past the groups of Italians who come from neighboring boroughs and states just to pick up fresh ingredients for a family dinner. Mike himself welcomed me to try some of his homemade fresh burrata, which was just made this morning. He put it in hot water to bring it to room temperature. In Italian, it is called il bagno, meaning the bath,
Mike insisted on cutting the burrata and plating it over a bed of greens, fresh bread, and radicchio. Add a little shake of salt and pepper and top it off with speck or the shoulder of the hog. They grilled it on a panini grill. Mangia, this is something for you to taste. And he tells me there's no such thing as bacon bits in an Italian deli. A pinch of extra virgin olive oil and their own special truffle oil. We call the burrata a love cheese, he says. And you cannot forget their own balsamic reduction. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. Chi mangia bene vive bene. Who eats well lives well. It's all about the quality. Amazing. You could buy burrata from Italy. 90% of those burratas could stay 65 days in a container. How? They're full of chemicals. Mine stays two weeks and that's it. It stays beautiful. Your first burrata. My first burrata here in the real little Italy in the Bronx. so much flavor, it's so rich, wow. Good job, Italy. While walking around and going into all these adorable shops, I'm hearing Italian spoken everywhere, which is so amazing. I want to practice my Italian and I'm constantly trying and it's honestly just so refreshing to hear that almost everyone working here is speaking Italian, they know Italian, they they, they treat with, they blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, they treat you with love. We've been to multiple places where they've given us free mozzarella. They've given us free things. They're like, oh, you're doing this like, you know, like, let, let me let me plate this for you. Let me make this extra. Give me, give me a second. Like, he comes back, he gives us Prosecco. He gives us the burrata. It was amazing at Mike's Deli. It was the ultimate treatment. And I think that it's just part of that Italian vibe, that culture, that love, that like, they treat everyone like family and they welcome you like family. They they want you to enjoy yourself, to love it as much as they do. And I just I feel so loved and like everyone here is like welcoming me and everyone like family. Like you don't even have to be Italian. I'm half Italian and I just like feel so loved. But you don't even have to. You can just be walking around and just appreciate it and everyone's just wants to give you a sample of their food, their bread, their cheese, because they want to share what their grandmothers taught them, their recipes, everything with you, because that's kind of their form of love. And I just feel so loved here. It's just amazing. is a real Italian hot chocolate. It is super thick here and it's basically like melted chocolate in a cup. Amazing! And we've got some panna cotta, which is whipped cream, on top with shavings of chocolate. I am obsessed. This is at Prince Coffee House. I had to double check, yes. I almost said Prince Street Pizza. That was a very different thing. Prince Coffee House here in Little Italy, the Bronx. Let's take a sip. Mmm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, it's so good and warm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good? <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, it's just so good. Mm. I just really appreciate you know, the you know passion that goes in and creating these dishes, whether it be the foods or drink here. You can really taste it, you know, that there's love and um, passion that's being used to create these things. So why Dandy in the Bronx? So I'm born and raised in the Bronx and Hunts Point. And when I started my blog in 2014, uh, all the other bloggers I saw at the time, they're all Manhattan this, Brooklyn that. 
and I really wanted to showcase, you know, the Bronx and what it was doing. Um, I didn't feel there was a lot of representation at the time, uh, so I wanted to be, you know, so show people that I can be doing the exact same thing those other bloggers are doing, but in the Bronx. Um, since then, the Bronx has been changing a lot. There's a lot more eyeballs now here in the Bronx. Uh, and I'm just happy to be able to show people all the cool things that are happening here. Um, from amazing places like Little Italy, you know, up and coming places like Mott Haven. Um, awesome places that have amazing, you know, uh, Latino food, Dominican food, um, Dominican Chino food, which I got to show you that later for that part, part though. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of places here, and I think a lot of people, you know, give it a bad rap or just have their own assumptions about the Bronx. You know, when people think about the Bronx, they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna get jumped or something." Yes, but no. <laughs> I, you know, it like like of any place. Uh, there's there's safe places, and then there's there are more shady places. And you know, I just tell people, you just gotta play, be smart. You know, don't be an idiot. Don't take your iPad out to take pictures. You know, I just want to show people all the cool things that are happening in the Bronx, and you know, come spend your money here. <laughs> Now, if you have a sweet tooth like me, you might want to do a pastry or cannoli crawl. So here are the top seven best dessert spots in the Bronx's Little Italy. Number one, Gino's Pastry Shop. The best cannoli is filled with the cream right in front of you so that the shell does not get soggy, and here they do it right, right in front of you. <laughs> here you can get a fresh cannoli sfogliatella and cappuccino with great service. So. Yes, what do we have here? Is I'm not really, really well versed with Italian pastries, so you're actually gonna show me. And so what do we have over I'm here? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is the Sfogliadelle. It is a wonderful flaky pastry that is filled with cream. Oh, it is so good. There, let's get that focus, get closer, yeah. get even closer. There you go. And. There it is, it's in, it's in, go. it's in focus. <laughs> Taking a moment for that, yep, mm-hmm, yep. Feel free to rotate it, take your time. Don't worry. Oh, you can go, thank you. Thank you so much. And now we can talk again. Oh my God, So I what do we have here again? <laughs> so this is the Sfogliadel, not to be confused with the lobster tail. Let's try it out, and go, this is your moment. <laughs> my moment, this is your all big right, moment. let's go for it. I Cheers. I like it. Oh my God, it's freaky, oh my God. Mm. Right? Mmm. Mm. Wow. You have it on your nose. Mm. <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's all you. We're gonna have so many more. We have so much more ahead of us. This is only the beginning of the desserts. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so good. And I love like the softness in the center, the texture. It changes from flaky to softer in the middle. Mm, so good. Yeah, and the sugar on top of it. Yes, mm. you gotta get that powdered sugar mm. on top. It's a perfect touch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh. You're going all in, you're eating it all. I mean, you might as well. <laughs> it's not like we're on a food tour or anything and we're gonna eat a lot more food. <laughs> I'll pay for it later. <laughs> Number two, Marone Pastry Shop. I love the cannoli shells with a hint of cinnamon. Number three, Delillo Pastry Shop. Try the lobster tails that are extra flaky and crunchy on the outside with soft cream on the inside. Number four, Ajidio Pastry Shop. Their saying is, life is uncertain, so eat dessert first. Number five, Adio and Sons. Come here for amazing breads, but also to satisfy your sweet tooth, you must try the chocolate bread. Number six, Artuzo Pastry Shop. Come for a variety of cookies and pastries. Number seven, Madonia Bakery. Legend says that the first owner's son was born on the floor of the bakery. The thing that makes the Bronx, you know, really unique is that there's so many different cultures, lifestyles, people here. You know, we're here in Little Italy, here in the Bronx, but there's also a lot of Albanians in the Bronx, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, you know, so you'll get a taste of almost everything uh, here in the Bronx. And they're almost like the little miniature versions of their countries that are present here. Uh, actually, um, here in Little Italy, like we just walking by, there's a lot of cool Albanian places, so you can check out some food from their people as well. 
So there's a little bit of everything here. The best thing that I really love about the Bronx is just the community aspect. Uh, it's all these like different people coming together and just you know representing the best aspects of their country. Uh, the best food, lifestyle, everything you can find here, whether it be Italian, Puerto Rican, Albanian, you can find it here in the Bronx. And I think that's what makes it really unique. One of my biggest tips, I'm gonna say it one more time because they're honking. I love it, okay. One of my biggest tips is to come here early. I have been here, it's a little early in the Bronx, this whole area of Arthur Avenue, and I come here at like 6 p.m. on a Saturday, and I was like, ooh, we have plenty of time. The sun doesn't set for like another hour. And I was so wrong. Everything was so crowded and so packed, it was chaotic. Last time I was here, it was just, it was, you couldn't get into any of the restaurants, it was a mess. We ended up, I think, at like, it was just it was just too much. So my biggest tip is to please come here early, get here at 9 a.m., go to Casa de la Mozzarella, make your way through all the pastry shops, the coffee shops, just like we did, go to the market, take your time. At 12, a lot of the restaurants open. Get in there for lunch, not dinner, because especially on the weekends, they get packed. You really need a reservation ahead of time, unless, and if you don't basically have a reservation, get here early, that is my biggest tip. Okay, done with rant. <laughs> Grazie per aver guardato. Come sempre, DC alla nuova avventura. E ci vediamo la prossima volta. Ciao! I love that, okay. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Mm -hmm.